Hello everyone, I'm Big Red Gaming HD, welcoming everyone back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Pearl. In the previous episode, we arrived here on this route, added a few members on our team, and in this episode, hopefully we can continue marching forward. We countered this weird stone, and we'll find out later what that does. And now if we have a bike, which we do, and hold on, okay... And we run into this trainer. Hi there, where are you from? What kind of Pokemon do you have? Alright, I got all kinds of Pokemon. Okay, so Cowgirl Shelly. Alright, so how was everyone's 4th of July if you were American? Mine was just great. Um, I had a lot of fun. And whoa, what the heck. Um, okay, I didn't expect everyone to be so beat up. Um, maybe I should have checked my Pokemon before I started. Anyway. <laughs> but, uh, my 4th of July was great. Um, a lot of fun. Uh, pretty much fire block fireworks in every block here. We just got crazy people. Even though it's illegal here in New York, people just don't care. And plus, the police officers can really can't do anything about it, so... I mean, they should just make it legal, but, oh well. I guess we have crazy people here, so. It's insane. Alright, bye doof. Knowing those people would have fireworks off every night, so I guess, I guess it's a good idea that it's illegal. But 4th of July, I understand that most people want to, um, have fireworks, and I can understand the cops not wanting to chase everyone down for having fireworks. Alright, so this is going to be a boring battle because it seems like this lady's going to have five Badoos all increasing in one level. Like, seriously, that's amazing. Okay. You know, um... What should I talk about? You know, summer is awesome. I love summer. Um, like, I don't mind the heat uh, other people just like hate the heat but i love the heat it's so great it just feels great i mean i'd rather be really really warm than really really cold so like like i know we didn't really experience the cold this winter because it was like a world record we didn't even get like one inch of snow but um i really like even if we had like an awful winter i would still some people I, not a lot of people like the cold but I would say more people like the, um, obviously summer, but some people complain about how hot it is, but I'm like, it's, I'd rather it be really hot than be really cold, so. Oh, Kyle leveled up to level 18, and Endeavor. Um, Endeavor is not a really great move, so I won't use it. I won't use it. Give up on Endeavor. Alright. Alright, so she's gonna send in another bite oof, and we can knock it out pretty easily. <sighs> okay, and I'll and I'll heal up my team after this. Okay. So after finishing off five Bidus, Bidus or whatever, I mean, where do they come up with these names? Like, especially in like fifth generation Pokemon Black and White, like these names are like absurd. Like, how do they even think of it? All right. Okay, bad, paralyzed heals, oh, I got two, perfect, I'll heal up Tommy, and I'll heal up Gary, and we can get some potions, I really need to stock up on some potions, okay, one more potion, and I think we're good, we have a double battle up ahead with a couple, so, right here, get out of my way. Okay, double battle. You're not supposed to intrude on my time with Sue. Huh? You wanna battle with me? I will if I can team up with Ty. Oh, what a lovely couple. Okay. So the young couple Ty and Sue. We're gonna start off with Machop and Meditite. Two fighting types. And you know, this is a perfect opportunity to put Kyle in there. Uh, Pokemon, Kyle. Oh, he doesn't really... Meh. Eh, it's kind of risky. So I'll just battle it out. 
Okay. And plus, um, we should take them out one hit. Well, Gary should, but I don't know about Tommy. Well, just wait and find out. So we took out that Machop with ease, and this Metatite's not even going to be a problem. And we better get ready. We're going to try and train up for this uh, battling fire and fighting types. Um, because the third gym is all fighting, so, yeah. Good thing we picked up Kyle for our team. He'll be very, he's gonna be very, um, important for our team. And, alright. Now, I have to think here. Do I want to do the Lost Tower? I was thinking about doing a montage of that, and I might do that in another, like, separate episode. Um, because it's really boring, and I think there's some items over here. So, head on down... Ah, come on, come on. Oh my god, fail. Okay, so if we head up here... Ugh, this is gonna be annoying. What the hell? What the hell? What's the point of having a ramp if you can't go up it? Hold on, am I in the right gear? Alright, forget it, screw it. Ah, that was so stupid. God. I swear, what's the point of having a ramp if you can't go up it? Alright. So let's run away from here. Okay. So, um, we're gonna enter the next town here. There is no gym here, though. It's Solacian Town. And this town is where the cowboys are at, so... All my western cowboys here, shout out to them. And we also have the daycare here. But first off, let's heal our Pokemon. Um, okay. Yep. <laughs> okay, healing up our Pokemon real quick. And we can get on and explore some Solution Town. Now, um, in Solution Town, uh, there's a daycare where you can, uh, train your Pokemon. We also, they also, that's pretty much it. But there's also Solution Ruins, where it's basically an item scavenger hunt. And basically, it's where the unknowns are. And so yeah, I what should I start off? I guess I'll start off explaining the daycare. So the daycare is basically where you drop your Pokemon off and they will supposedly train them for you. And how it works is every time you take a step, you get one experience point. So one experience points for each Pokemon. So basically if your Pokemon has 83 experience like to the next level, if you take 83 spe steps they will um gain a level, so now, I'm not even gonna, meh, you know what, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep Ed in here, and hopefully when I get him back, um, he'll be an evolved Gyarados. Okay. Because there's really no point of training Ed, I just wanna see what happens and show it off. Okay, so what is this? Uh, okay. Well, basically, this uh, building right here is basically about uh, catching a specific Pokemon each day. And I think he starts off catching off a Zubat and will give you a reward. But there's really no point. And he wasn't here. Okay. Let's see if these people give me everything. Okay. Oh, and also, if you leave two Pokemon, um, yep, they might have a little something. A little something. And they might leave an egg for you. So, if you leave two Pokemon that can have something nasty, then you can uh, get a Pokemon egg. Alright, first I want to buy some Repels. Because we're going to be in Salatian uh, Ruins. So, um, ah, so stupid. Okay. So, in, we're going to head into Salatian Ruins. Uh, basically, like I said, it's a huge, I um, item hunt, but, um, speaking of this, I'm gonna buy some potions, I'll buy three potions, super potions, and I'll get, uh, a paralyzed heal, okay, and I'll also buy some repels, cause I'm going to need them, five repels, that should take me through the tunnel. Okay, so let's get out of here. No. Also, some stuff at the end of the game to earn money. Money isn't really a problem in this game. So basically, you can buy everything you want. And um, I never ran out of money ever. So, OK. 
Okay, so if we head into here, we'll head into Salation Ruins. And here is basically just an island uh, scavenger hunt. So let's use one of our repels because you can run into some... Um, hold on, let's use some repels. Because you can run into some unknowns. And, okay, so... Hold on, no, 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 If you really want to sit through there and translate it, um, be my guest. And basically, it's just a huge, like, test trial, and I've got really lucky by guessing that. And, oh, please be this way. It, basically, it's a guessing game, and I'm really doing good. And, oh, come on. This place is teeming with unknown. So, I'm just gonna try and avoid as many battles as possible in this place. Um, because I don't want to waste so much time. I kind of just want to get it over with. And, um, yeah. I hate how long this cutscene is. Alright, so hopefully Gara will knock them out pretty quickly. Um, hopefully he just has Rock-type Pokemon. So we can get moving forward with this. Okay. Just knock him out. Yeah, uh, Solation Ruins is basically just a huge I I um, island, item, island, why was I going to say island, item, scavenger hunt, you basically just look around for items, um, it's good because you can find a rare candy here, uh, you just have to try and figure a way through, and what I usually do is just a guessing game, I just usually stock up on repels and just, uh, pick random places to go to, you know which way is wrong, because there's like one rock there and something like that, um, so it's not like they can make you go the wrong way, you'll know if you're going the right way or you're going the wrong way, so that's good. Oh, what? What? Ah. Oh. Oh, and thanks to DamnAndy595, he told me what magnitude means. Basically, it's like an earthquake, so the higher the magnitude, uh, the more damage it does. Um, I should have figured that out, but oh well. Now, I don't know how that did not finish that one G dude in one shot. So, basically, magnitude 9 is probably the most, and I think magnitude 10 will probably just, like, kill you. Okay, Bronzor. Now, Bronzor is a Steel-type Pokemon, and we'll be seeing a lot of Bronzors, especially in, like, the future of the game and its evolved form, especially in Team, uh, Team Galactic, uh, because they just like using these Pokemon for some reason. So if you have a tough Fire-type Pokemon, you'll take out these Pokemon with ease. So, yeah. Now that we gained 138 experience points, we can move on. And Kyle grows to level 19. This is going to be very vital for Kyle to keep on uh, gaining up some levels because we do have to battle that gym. Okay, so I'm gonna guess left. Oh. Even oh wow wow. Okay, this way. And maybe this way. If I got this right, no, I'm wrong. See, that's what it looks like when it's wrong. You can only have some lucky luck. And, uh, it's just like a huge maze, and you think you're going the wrong way until you run into this room. And, here's the rare candy, and here is the nugget, which you can sell for a lot of money. And here is a mines plate, I don't know what that does. Um, oh, it's just like, I think it boosts some Pokemon's moves. And here we go. And we found an odd incense. So now we can get out of this place. See, this is basically what it is, but I think it's very worth it. You just have to remember which way you came. Oh, okay. New repel. And actually, in Pokemon Black and White 2, um, they will be, uh... They ask if you can use the rip if you want to use the repel again, which is awesome. Um, do we head up? Yes. You just kind of have to remember where you went. And I think we went this way. And trying to avoid that trainer there. Oh, no. We didn't go that way. This way? Yes. Alright. So we're done with Salation Ruins. And that's going to be the end of the episode. So I want to thank everyone for watching. Next episode will probably be The Lost Tower. And I'll see you guys next time. Alright. Peace out.